Once upon a time in a kingdom far, far away, there lived a beautiful princess frog named Lily who was in love with the ocean. The other frogs in the kingdom didn't understand Lily's fascination with the ocean. They thought she was strange for not being content with the small rivers and ponds they lived near. But Lily knew that there was something special about the ocean that called to her. Lily would often slip away from the castle and hop down to the ocean's edge, where she would sit for hours, watching the waves crash onto the shore. She loved the sound of the ocean and the salty breeze that came with it. The ocean felt like home to her, and she felt more alive than ever when she was near it. She wanted to always be near the ocean. The journey to the ocean was almost a day's trek from her kingdom, but she would hop to the ocean at least once a month. Her parents were worried for her and would often try to stop her from going, but Lily was undaunted. One day, while on the beach, Lily saw a large boat unlike that which she had ever seen before. She chased it along the beach as she watched it pull into a port town. Lily had never been in a human city before and was often warned of its dangers by her family. However, she was curious as to how such a large vassal was able to stay afloat on the water without a lily pad. She hid behind some barrels in an alleyway and listened to the humans that had just departed the ship. They were discussing their next voyage out into sea. Lily had tried to go out to sea before, but she had never made it very far. She started to wonder what mysteries the ocean could have waiting for her. Lily continued to listen to the humans talk about their tales for hours, until one by one the sailors got tired and went to bed. Lily found a nearby local pond and decided to stay a few days near the port town. Each day she would go and hear more stories about life on the sea, and each day she would watch in wonder as more ships of varying sizes sailed off into the horizon, and she felt a longing to explore the sea for herself. Lily decided to return home, sure that her family was concerned for her safety. Once home, her father yelled at Lily for making them worry as she had. Lily tried for a few days after that to tell the stories she had heard from the sailors, but no one was interested. Because she had so much passion bottled up, with no one to share it with, she felt very frustrated. She kept thinking about the ships that were going off in so many different directions. She left a note for her family and decided to run away to the port town. Once at the port town, she hopped on the biggest ship she could find. At first, she hid from the sailors on the ship so that she would not be caught. But one day, a young boy was cleaning when he found her. He was curious about her as he had never seen a frog with a tiara before. The boy was eager to show his other shipmates. They were not as excited as the child, but they thought that the unique frog may be a sign of good luck and allowed Lily to stay and to go wherever she wished on the ship. As she no longer needed to hide, she was able to look out over the vast ocean. She was amazed at what she saw, even if there were far fewer ocean beasts and ocean battles than the sailors had made it seem. The sailors were slow to warm up to the odd frog, even if it was seen as a sign of good luck, but were endeared to the princess's enthusiasm. The sailors would often bring the frog with them while they did their tasks, and the boy would often bring her up to the lookout to be able to have a better view. Living on the ship, Lily found that the salt water was much different on her skin than from that of the pond, but the sailors worked to try and make sure that Lily was comfortable and put a floating piece of wood in a bucket of fresh water. As the ship sailed further into the open sea, they encountered a fierce storm. The wind howled, the waves grew higher, and the ship was tossed about like a leaf in the wind. Lily clung to the railing, feeling the full force of the storm battering against her small body. The crew was too busy trying to fight the storm to be able to notice the small frog. She knew that she would not be much help, so she held on tightly hoping that the storm would pass soon. The little frog held on for dear life and was able to weather the storm. She continued her journey and eventually she was able to get many stories of her own, but she wanted to share them with her fellow frog citizens. After a few years on the ship, when it had docked in the port town she had first got on, she decided to leave the crew behind. They were sad, and even though they were unsure if she understood their words, they said she was welcome any time. The princess returned home and everyone was very happy to see her and finally listen to her stories. The end. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this story. Please like and subscribe.